Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Megan if you're new here and I'm a homeschooling mom of six kids. My oldest is only in fifth grade and so it gets a little bit crazy over here which leads me to today's topic asking for help. So let's get started. Today's video is actually a collaboration hosted by my friend Ingrid over at the Ingrid Chronicles along with Jennifer over at Family of Three Homeschool. I will link their channels down below along with the playlist and we're going to talk about exactly what I said at the beginning, asking for help. So a little background here before I really get into this whole asking for help topic. I am formerly a public school teacher, elementary public school teacher, and um, I, that's what I did before I quit to stay home with my kids. Um, I did not quit to stay home until we had our fourth child. And at that time, I decided I wanted to keep some structure in our home. My oldest son at the time was getting ready to turn five. And so I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of structured preschool with him. Now for preschool, we did do a curriculum that is called My Father's World. We actually did the kindergarten level of that curriculum and just took it a little slower um, throughout the year to finish it up. All that to say, I have been homeschooling for over six years now and I still ask for help. That is the first thing I would say. Even with an education background, especially in elementary education, there have still been times I need to ask for help, and I still do often. And so the biggest thing with that is who do you ask for help? Who do you go to? Where do you go to? What kinds of help do you need? So when I began homeschooling, it was really important to me to have people around me as an influence who also homeschooled. Um, I don't necessarily have the same homeschool style as some of my friends that were a huge help and influence to me. Um, they are very traditional in their approach. However, I still found a lot of help in them. The other way that I found help was different blogs, different YouTube videos, and also some different Facebook groups. So that's what I would say is number one, find some folks that you are close to or that you go to church with or something like that and who are also homeschooling because those people can be a huge help and guide to you. The second thing I would say is to find a Facebook group in your area that is made up of homeschoolers. So where I live, we have actually three different Facebook pages for the area that I live in, and they have been a great resource for many other people. People get on there and ask questions all the time, and that's just a great way because I have found as a homeschool mom, it is very different homeschooling than it was teaching public school. So no amount of education for yourself is enough to exempt you from needing help sometimes. So you want, I have also learned that the biggest help for me is people who have actually experienced the homeschooling in the first place. Not people who just know about curriculum, not people who know about education, but actual experienced homeschool moms. The other thing that can be a huge help is in our area. So in my state, you can choose to umbrella with a school. That's what they call it. Basically, you can and um, like say a private school in the area offers that you can register under their school and they have a liaison for homeschool that just kind of helps you through any questions you might have and also as a resource and guide for curriculum choices and things like that. So that is a great person to go to for help as well. And another option is the HSLDA website. HSLDA is the Homeschool Legal Defense Association. If you are not a member and you are a homeschool parent, I would highly recommend that you join HSLDA. They are the ones that go to bat for us with legislation or anything um, having to do with homeschooling. And on their website, you can find homeschool laws by state what your rights are as a homeschool parent, and many other helpful resources. So I know that I'm mentioning a lot of resources and places that you can go for help. Um, and I will link as many of these down below as 
I can. And you can also ask me specifically in the comments if I can help point you in the right direction as well. But another thing that I found super helpful when I was first starting out as curriculum in regards to curriculum is the Kathy Duffy reviews of curriculum. It is just an online resource. It You can go and you can look at lists of like Kathy Duffy um, top 100 curriculum picks or whatever. It breaks it down by subject. It breaks it down by grade level. You can look up a specific um, curriculum that you're thinking of and it will give more of an inside wide scoped idea and opinion of that curriculum. And um, so I have found that as a great resource over the years as well. I actually still look at that even now as um, a mom who's been homeschooling for many years. So um, another idea is also on Facebook, once again. <laughs> There are Facebook pages specific to different curriculums. So if you're using a certain curriculum and you have a question about it or you feel like something's not working for you, then those are great places to ask for advice and help and direction in whatever issue that you might be having with the specific curriculum. Another important thing to, to um, remember and I think keep in the forefront of your mind too is a lot of times when we have issues with a curriculum, it's because we are trying to adhere ourselves to that curriculum. Whereas you as a parent, as a homeschool parent, you have the autonomy to not work for that curriculum, but to make that curriculum work for you. So if it's not quite working and needs some tweaking for it to better fit your family, don't be afraid to make those little changes and those little tweaks to make it fit your family a little better. We've done that over the years with a few different things. One of my sons has dyslexia, gets very easily overwhelmed in his um, reading lessons. The reading curriculum that we use with him is very specific to dyslexia, but there was a season where he was becoming very overwhelmed with it. And so we would half those lessons down. We would split them in half and we would do half of the lesson one day and half of the lesson another. That's an example of how you can tweak and make it work for you until, you know, you can get back into the season where you can go full force with that curriculum. And that is what ended up happening. We just needed a little bit of flex when he was feeling overwhelmed. And then now, he's flipped on full on mode and it's working well for us. Let's also address why we need help. Because the reality is, is we don't have all the answers and that's okay. And when we ask for the answers or we ask for advice, we may not actually find our answers. But how will we ever know if someone has a better idea about things or some good advice we could follow unless we ask? So that is the number one reason I would say that we need to ask for help in the first place. So with all that said, I hope that this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. I am more than happy to answer any questions for you. I get emails often from some of you mamas out there and I actually really love getting emails from you guys. Um, the questions that I get and the conversations and some of you even have become friends of mine through um, Instagram messaging or even through email. And so um, don't be afraid to ask. My email address is down in the description. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram. There's a link to that down below as well. So ask, guys, ask. When you have a question, when something is just not going right, when something doesn't feel right, or even if you need to reach out and just ask for a little encouragement, ask, ask. As homeschool moms, we need to band together as community and be there for each other, whether it be across the country or across the world. That is one of the ways that things like social media and the internet can be used for good. So with all that said, I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure to check out Ingrid and Jennifer's channel down below as well as that playlist and I will see you guys on future videos. Thanks so much guys.